obviously, uh, we all know that the Song of Songs, sometimes called the Song of Solomon, in the Bible, I mean this book, uh, was historically written by Solomon. It is believed that possibly Solomon was writing about the love he had for one of his uh, many wives. Possibly the beloved among his many wives, the uh, Bible means us to know. But the spiritual meaning or the theology behind this book is that if you read it like a man looking for a woman, a woman looking for a man, you miss the point. It's not about a love story actually. It's about the soul singing to God. Your soul singing to God. So you read it and imagine it is the soul, your soul singing to God. It's a love story. It's a love song. You get it perfectly. Because it makes more sense to see that the heart, our soul, is in love with God. But it is the love of the soul for God that is radiated in this book, the Song of Songs, also known as the Song of Solomon. And so today, this soul went, we are told, and listen, it says, he, so he stands behind our wall, he looks in at the window. In these days of WhatsApp and the Facebook, men don't stand at the wall again. I guess you know that. Uh, they prefer to use their WhatsApps and their Facebook to get those connections, yes. Uh, but when Solomon wrote these lines, uh, some few years ago, as we know, this was the way uh, to lure uh, a woman or to gain a relationship. But that is what the soul would do. To go to that extent of even sacrificing, taking a risk, to look for God. It, the same book, it ends by saying that my dove hiding in the cliffs of the rock, in the coverts of the cliff, show me your face. Uh, let me hear your voice. Your voice is sweet. Your face is beautiful. I don't know whether your soul can sing like this to God. I don't know whether God can see your soul as beautiful, your voice as sweet. Three days to Christmas, the church wants us to reflect on how our soul is and what song our souls are singing to God three days before Christmas. It should be a song of love, a song of beauty, a song of course of encouragement. May these songs be ours. May we sing, as we have said in the, the Christmas lesson, a new song to the Lord. The beat about the new song is that it's never heard of. It is so new that everyone wants to listen to it. May also become a new song to the Lord.